Hi, this is Sean, and today we're going to be going over the Administration Menu Module for Drupal. The Administration Menu Module is what I consider to be an essential and must-have module for every Drupal website. And in fact, it's the very first module that I'll install on any Drupal website project that I'm working on. That's because it greatly uh, simplifies and speeds up access to administration functions. Um, so let's get started and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, what we're looking at now is a default Drupal installation uh, with the toolbar menu uh, showing your administration functions along the top. And the left icon is just simply takes you back to your website home page. Um, this is pretty nice, but it's not as efficient as it can be because to see what's under each menu item, you actually have to click on it and then an overlay screen pops up. So to see what's under configuration, you actually have to click it and then look through and then if there's sub menu items under under any of these items, then it's further clicks. Okay, so um, if you're not exactly sure where you're going, that could take um, you know a while to click through and look through all the options. Um, so what we're going to do is install the administration menu module, which will make this uh, these types of tasks uh, much more efficient. Uh, the administration module can be found on Drupal.org, and its project name is admin underscore menu. So we're going to use the Drupal's uh, built-in module installer to install this. So if we go down to the bottom of the project page, under the download links, we'll simply right-click on the tarball uh, link for the 7.x version, which is for Drupal 7. We're going to copy that link address to our clipboard, and go back to our site, click Modules, wait for the overlay to open, click Install New Module, paste our URL in, and click Install. Alright, now we're going to enable the Admin Menu uh, module. So if we go to our Modules page, uh, under the Administration section, we have Admin Menu. And this replaces the Drupal Core Toolbar Menu and the Overlay. So this is very important. For this to function efficiently and correctly, we're going to disable those two core Drupal modules. So if we go to the Core section, uh, and we'll scroll down, here's the Overlay. We're going to turn that off. and toolbar and we're going to turn that off. We'll save our configuration and now we've got uh, a very nice and efficient admin menu system at the top. Alright and now the first thing you'll notice when you hover over the menu items we have drop down menus. So you can just quickly hover over configuration for example and see all the sections that are available and when you hover over each one there's additional flyout menus. So instead of having to click, 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 click to find, uh, navigate to where you want, you can simply hover over uh, to find the areas you want and navigate uh, directly to them. So already right off the bat uh, this is much more efficient and also by disabling the um, overlay module since it's not needed now that we have these drop-down flyout menus. Uh, the overlay uh, module that provided those pop-up screens um, actually is not very efficient um, in that it takes uh, sometimes a few moments or a few seconds to load and also uh, it's not user-friendly because if you accidentally back out of it or click outside of it um, to lose that, it's you lose any information that you might have typed in the overlay module, uh, overlay screen that had popped up. Um, whereas without it, if you accidentally navigate away from a screen that you were typing in some information, uh, you can always hit the back button, and almost always the information that you had already started typing will be retrieved. So just another reason to uh, turn off the overlay module. And with this new admin module, we'll go over a couple things. Right off the bat, um, where the home icon was using Drupal Core's toolbar, now we have a Drupal icon. And if we if we hover over that, we've got access, quick access to some really wonderful administration functions. One of them is flush all caches. Uh, if you click that, it's going to flush 
uh, and clear all the Drupal caches, which if you're working on a site, um, you might be doing that frequently, uh, if not periodically. Uh, so if you just click this, it's going to flush all of the Drupal caches, but it also gives you uh, some refined access to clear only, say, the administration menu caches or the menu caches or the theme registry uh, caches. Another quick admit administrative uh, function that's available through this icon drop-down is run cron um, and you can also uh, it also has access to drupal.org link and uh, some quick access to um, important areas on drupal.org so let's look at some of the uh, options that are available for the administrative administration menu. So if we go to configuration, administration, administration menu, this brings us to um, our available settings. The top uh, margin, which is enabled by default, uh, just to adjust the top, it basically um, moves the whole site down by 20 pixels, which adjusts the site so it's not buried underneath the admin menu. So uh, don't know why you would ever want to turn that off. Uh, and keep menu on top of the page just means that it keeps your menu st static at the top of the page. So if you have a long page and you scroll down, uh, the menu will not scroll off the top of the page. That way it's always visible, uh, so you have quick and easy access to it. Um, so you'll probably always want to leave these two items checked. Under plugins, um, here's our available options uh, for what's available in our admin menu. And this is nice too when you enable or disable, it gives you a live preview. So the icon menu, when I'm disabling and toggling this, the icon at the top uh, turns off. So that basically just gives that, um, enables an, or enables or disables the icon menu up at the top left. And you might want to turn that off if you don't need it or if you have other administrators that have access to the admin menu that you just don't want them to have access to say the flush to flush the cache or run cron uh, you can uh, turn that off here uh, admin menu simply <laughs> enables or disables the entire menu so not sure why you would have this installed and want to disable that but the option is there uh, the search bar uh, toggles this search bar here which allows you to search the content on your website and the user count, if you look next to it, uh, there's two numbers here. The first one is the current amount of anonymous users on your website, and the second one is the current number of logged in users. So I'm the only user on the website, so we have no anonymous and one logged in user. And this will toggle that on or off. And lastly, we have the account links, which um, when it's enabled gives you these last two links here. Uh, the first one is just the, that's the name of the user I'm logged in with now, demo, and if we click that, it'll bring you to that user's uh, account profile page. And obviously the last one is a logout link, which will log you out if you click it. So this last option here simply disables that. Under system tweaks, um, collapse module groups on the permissions page. If you enable that and go to the permissions page, so it, we haven't enabled it yet, I haven't saved it. So this is what it looks like by default, where you have the module name and then all the um, permissions available underneath it. If we enable this and save the configuration and come back and refresh, now all of the um, permissions that are available under each menu or module are collapsed. So you'd have to click on each module uh, to see uh, what permissions are available for that module. So this might be handy if you have a lot of modules installed and want everything collapsed so you can see um, the modules that are available to set permissions. Um, so that's what this does and we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Uh, collapse module groups on the modules page does the same thing but for um, but for your modules. Uh, I have the module administrator uh, module installed so that overrides this. Um, so I have no no need and it won't do anything if we show you that right now since since we have that other module installed. Um, move local task into the menu. Let's go back to our home page and if you go to any node that you have access to edit you're going to see a view and edit tab. So what this does move local task in the menu is going to 
move these two uh, view and edit tabs up into the admin menu. Not really handy, don't know why you would ever need that, but it's available. So we'll save this just to show you. We'll come back here and refresh. Now those view and edit tabs are up in the administrative menu. Okay, we don't need that, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. All right. Okay, and there's one other item we're going to go over that you can do with the administration menu module. Um, so let's go back to our modules. And under core, we have a shortcut module that allows you to set uh, shortcut links for your users. So we're going to turn that on. And you're probably um, familiar with that with the core uh, toolbar module installed. So if we turn that on, if you notice, um, this is where the shortcuts would be, and they are um, not there. It's not available. So what we need to do is go back to the administration uh, menu module, and there's a sub-module for the administration menu module called administration menu toolbar style. So let's go ahead and enable that, and watch how it changes at the top once it uh, finishes saving here. Uh, it's kind of subtle, but it looks a little different. It's a little bigger, the text is bigger, and the highlights are rounded. Uh, so that, so far, it's just visual uh, changes that we see when we enable the toolbar style uh, sub-module. Now, though, if we go in to Administration, Admin Menu, we have an additional option called shortcuts. And as you see, it gives us a live preview when we toggle that off or on. So, and what that does is give, give us uh, access to our core shortcuts. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we have a shortcut menu available. So again, if you want the shortcuts available, uh, you need to enable the uh, core Drupal shortcut module here and also under administration you need to have the toolbar style uh, sub-module enabled and then lastly go into your administration settings and enable that checkbox because it won't be on by default. Okay, and that's it. So hopefully you found this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the administration menu module, uh, again, I consider this a must have. So highly recommend that you install it now and, and get familiar with it. It's not, there's not much to it, but other than installing it, as you see, there's a few other uh, configuration options that might not be apparent uh, when you first install it.